touched by the heart. The controller serves to unify the chaos. <gasps> The seven emeralds can change our thoughts into power. If this emerald controls that power, please, you must stop him. What a heck of a way to start our final episode. Welcome back, everybody. This is Bobby Gaines here with Open Your Heart, the official Sonic Adventure playthrough as we count down to Christmas 2019. And we are here with the final episode. News cruise, I guess. That's a very disturbing image of tails. You just sort of conked out there. Apparently nobody thinks that was weird. Knuckles left already. Knuckles already said screw it. We just kind of left without you. Alright, so we we already know where the last emerald is. And I thought Chaos did too, but what do I know? Yeah. Um, obviously the, the final fight that we're all anticipating against Perfect Chaos is coming up. So... You know, there's a few more things about this game. I kind of do wish this part of the story had a little more. You pretty much just watch a few cutscenes and you're there. Um, right now, I'm just making my way back to the forest where the Tornado 2 was. Of course, last time the game froze on us prior to, well, just after, I don't know, when it froze. Somewhere during that Perfect Chaos cutscene. Of course, the second time it played flawlessly. So we learned a lot about Perfect Chaos there, kind of its origin and stuff. Like I said, I've really enjoyed the lore of this game. They didn't have to go into that much detail of where Chaos came from, Perfect Chaos and all that, but we do get to understand a little bit more of his origins right now. I'm pretty sure this is the last gameplay we have to do until we get to the final fight. I'm trying to remember if you even have to go to the forest or if it just takes you there. Yeah, here we go. Look, it's the Tornado 2! <laughs> there it is. Yeah, so let's get the Chaos Emerald and leave. So close to that Chaos Emerald. What? Nope. Not close enough. No, Chaos just stripped it clean. No. Now what do we do? I remember seeing that the first time being like, oh crap. I mean, you knew he was going to get all seven of them. Now this is awesome. We get to see this cutscene again. Except now this is reality. This is the city of Station Square. Little do they know what's coming. Of course we do because we saw the opening cutscene the first time. I think it's a, it's a little more detailed this time. Yeah, this is actually pretty awesome. For the entire game, you're teased about Perfect Chaos. He's the legend, he's the thing you never see, and then all of a sudden, you know, he goes from being this little puddle to just this incredible force of nature. This is it. This really happens. And, I mean, I'm guessing that, you know, even though this is just a game, you know, if this happened in real life, like, millions of people would die. I mean, look, look at that. No one's getting away from that. Buildings are getting destroyed. I mean, boom! Boom! Sorry, I get excited. Now, I don't believe they show... Oh, okay, they do. I was going to say, I, I was waiting for Perfect Chaos to actually show up in this whole mess. How Perfect... How Chaos goes from, like, what he was to that... It's just, to me, ridiculous. I mean, Chaos 6 was kind of monstrous looking, but that... I mean, that's enough water to flood a city, plus... I mean, jeez. I mean, yeah, there he is, in all of his hideous glory. Perfect chaos. If I wasn't just dreaming, that monster... Really? You, you needed the dream to tell you that? Sorry, this, this scene coming up here is both kind of corny and cool at the same time. Well, this is kind of stupid. Looks like he's after Chaos 2. This Egg Carrier 2 was made because something like this could happen. I like how he just whipped up another ship that quickly. Again, this is what Robotnik wanted. The city's destroyed. Build your Robotnik land or whatever. Like, why is this a bad thing? I mean, now it is because Perfect Chaos just screwed him up. See, again, when I first saw this scene, I thought Robotnik was dead. I mean, then again, I thought Robotnik was dead after the Viper fight. But 
apparently his ship plowing into the water like that just kind of inconveniences him a little bit. Alright, uh, good try, Robotnik. Who do you think you are, anyway? He's perfect chaos. And there's the hint orb again that we've been seeing the entire game. Spoilers. The one who sealed chaos in the Master Emerald. Tikal. Apparently, he even knows her name. Yes, that is Tikal. He would have rather played as Tikal than Big the Cat now that I think about it. She has a much bigger role in the story. Okay. So when Chaos got out of the Master Emerald, so did she. He'll eventually destroy the world like he did before. I mean, I thought this was a much interesting story, much more interesting story than Sonic Adventure 2, as much as I love that game. And this is really the only time we see this, or maybe Sonic Unleashed might do it as well, where the Chaos Emeralds are actually drained of their power. Like, they, they basically lose color. Like, he's basically absorbed them. It's never really explained how you do that. I guess just saying that spell, but like, how do you get that giant water dragon into that emerald? His heart will still remain in turmoil, and his anger just won't vanish. He'll just be trapped forever. Or until the next time Robotnik breaks him out. And then for some reason the music goes away here. I never really understood why. And all of Sonic's friends and Big Cat show up. See what's going on. There's an emerald around each of them. Hey, Sonic! They all just start hey. saying Sonic's name. Here, take this! They all just start giving him chaos emeralds, even though the emeralds have no energy in them. Hey guys, what's up? Apparently, Knuckles can fit Here, four emeralds in two hands. Tower of the emeralds. Sonic, you should be able to harness their real power. As much as I hate to admit it, I think Tails is right. Like about I said, this scene is extremely cheesy, yet it still jazzed me up the first time I saw it. I, I feel like they just got people from the developing crew to just yell, Go Sonic, during this part. Our positive feelings toward each other can make them work. Our hearts together form our. But damn, if I don't love that open your heart background. There he is, boys and girls. Supersonic coming your way. Supersonic versus Perfect Chaos. Two supercharged beings. The final fight in Sonic Adventure. It all comes down to this. For all the marbles, here we go! Love it. Got how fast this was. Honestly, this first part of the fight is kind of just for show. I think it's pretty easy. I mean, you get to hear the music, you get to be supersonic and go really fast, but it's really not that hard. Perfect Chaos keeps materializing in different parts of the city, and you have to, like, go fight them using these ramps, keeping your ring count pretty high. I know you can't see me right now, but I'm actually really pumped playing this. Open Your Heart, just one of my favorite songs ever. Alright, big boy, here we go. I actually find this fight easier than the Egg Viper, even when it gets harder. I always thought the Egg Viper was the hardest boss in this game. The corner's a little tough to take. You have to keep Sonic speed pretty high to hit him successfully. Got him. Oh, do I? Yes! Sometimes you don't get enough speed, you don't actually punch him like that. Now it gets a little bit trickier. Same idea, but this time, I guess Chaos already tries. So, to beat Sonic Adventure, here we go, the last three hits of the game. Against Perfect Chaos. This fight actually did give me a little trouble the first few times I played it. See how I am at it now. The thing is, at Supersonic you don't get hurt, but the projectiles push you back. That's enough to 
kill your momentum and make you lose rings faster. And if you lose all your rings, you're dead. So it's basically a fight against time and optics and chaos. Many Sonic fans already know that. And of course, you have a limited number of rings. Some of these curves are a little tricky. Maintain your speed. You have to avoid those things. There's that giant blast he just shot at Robotnik. So far, so good, though. Got two hits on him. One more to win the game. Here we go. I do love this fight. I wish it was a little longer, but... I don't know. First part was kind of just a fun little show. This part is kind of the finale here, obviously. Last hit of the game. Let's go for it. Come on! Yes! Got him! He gone! Well, everybody, we have just beaten Sonic Adventure in its entirety. Hey, I'll play with you some other time. And, it, you know, it fittingly ends the same way it starts, with Sonic going up against Chaos, except this time, obviously, the stakes were much higher, and he defeats Perfect Chaos, and now we see the true ending of Sonic Adventure. After all that work, after all the characters we saw, all the Chaos, some pun intended, we've defeated them. Back to Chaos Zero. The Chows are there for some reason, making that really stupid baby noise. Boom tap, boom tap. Whatever they're saying, I don't even freaking know. Speak English, chow. Or some language, I don't know. Boom tap, boom tap, boom tap, boom tap. Chaos has changed again. This time for the better. I never understood this. Yeah. Super Sonic must have neutralized it, so it's nice again. <laughs> Let that be a lesson to you. Somebody's giving you problems, you just beat the crap out of them, and they become nice again. Yeah, I always thought this was kind of a weird ending. I mean, I'm glad Chaos doesn't die, but I also don't understand why he just goes good again. I don't know. I always thought it kind of opened the door for maybe a future. Like, I don't know, something with Chaos. I think he's actually in... I don't know if this is canon or not, but the Game Boy Advance game Sonic Battle, I think Chaos is a... I don't know if he's a villain or an ally in that, but he does make an appearance. The fighting's over. Harmony's restored, and life goes on. Yes, everything's great, except for the city being completely destroyed. I mean, technically, the door is still open for Robotnik to build Robotnik Wave, I'm just saying. I, I don't think this is as much of a win as people want to say it is. Granted, he did stop Chaos from destroying everything, but he still destroyed quite a bit. Not to mention all the innocent lives lost, but, you know, that's not a me to decide. God knows Big Cat doesn't give a crap. But I digress. Now, it's never really said where these guys are going. If they're going back to their time period or they're just going back to whatever area of the world they come from, they just kind of vanish. I guess they're kind of like... I don't know. And Robotnik's still alive. There he is. So I go, I'm out of here. Cat, Amy, and technically that's Gamma there. Well, that ends well, right? Seriously, everything's destroyed. There's a car falling off a bridge right Sonic. next to you. There could be a person in there. And Sonic has nothing better to do than chase Robotnik after all that. I mean, I, I guess I kind of like that in a way. This, like I said, the story comes full circle. You know, the, the prophecy of per perfect chaos is fulfilled, but Sonic stops it. Um, I guess the world's safe. Patient Square is in ruins, but whatever. It's a very short story, and I actually didn't realize how short it was, but it's also the conclusion of the game. So, that is the true ending of Sonic Adventure, after you beat Robotnik, after you beat Chaos 6, after you, you know, destroy the Egg Carrier, so you think. And actually, just to bring that point home, it's showing us cutscenes from Sonic's game, originally. Because let's face it, Sonic is the star of the show, Sonic had the most gameplay in this game, and it was the best gameplay. And now we hear the iconic song that will represent... Christmas 2019, open your heart. And, I mean, there's a lot to unpack here. Um, actually, there was a lot about this story I didn't understand until I read the, so the Sonic comic adaptation of this, where it actually kind of goes into more detail what happened to Chaos back in the past, how it relates to the future. So, I was mentioning timelines before, and now that we know the whole story, I can go ahead and just say everything. Um, basically, I don't know how that might happen anyway. <laughs> basically, um, Chaos was sealed away in the Master Emerald many years ago as part of that whole 
Is he called a war? I don't really know. It's never really explained why those elderly echidnas wanted the power of the Chaos Emeralds. They just wanted them. But the call stands between them and Chaos. Chaos gets really mad, basically kills everybody. The call seals him in the Master Emerald. But the reason I say Knuckles' story is the beginning of the story is because it starts with the Master Emerald breaking. When the Master Emerald breaks and Chaos is freed, that's when Angel Island falls to the ground. Now, the Egg Carrier going over Angel Island heavily insinuates that Robotnik is the one who breaks the Master Emerald because he wants to get Chaos free from the Stone Tablets. And again, it's not really established how Robotnik gets a hold of these Stone Tablets or how he knows about the Legend of Chaos. But, you know, that's how these all these events go into motion. It's by Chaos getting free. So after Chaos gets free, breaks the Master Emerald, and sends Knuckles on his quest, Sonic encounters him in Station Square, and that begins his quest. Tails gets involved with Sonic, you know, Robotnik builds U-102 Gamma, Amy has her part in it, Big the Cat, all that stuff. So, I mean, I really love the storytelling in this, how everybody has something at stake, some more than others. But, you know, Robotnik's plan, I thought, was actually a really good one. Um, still kind of confused as to why. I mean, not that... I mean, Chaos, to me, was always just kind of a beast. Like, I never really saw Robotnik and Chaos as allies, even in the main story. I just thought Chaos was this monster that wanted to crush stuff, and Robotnik likes monsters. Like, I never saw them as, like one and two in terms of like who's the master and who's not yet in the extra story Robotnik treats Chaos like he's his pet being like hey you will obey me or else but really Chaos is this all powerful being who I didn't really I, Robotnik can't control him because he's not a robot so I, I never really got that whole dynamic or how you know Robotnik's like oh the city's destroyed but I'm still mad because I didn't do it it's like dude the city's destroyed but yeah at the end of the day yeah, everything works out Sonic defeats Chaos, the world is saved other than the entire city being decimated, which again is never addressed in Sonic Adventure 2 because that same city is back on the map. As far as I know, Sonic Adventure 2 takes place in Station Square for the most part. Stakes are still pretty big in SA2 though. So, I don't know. I love Sonic Adventure, I think you've figured that out by now. Of course, as a kid, I was always fascinated with Sonic's story. It wasn't until later that I grew an appreciation for the other stories and how they all tied together. In fact, I kind of used to think it was stupid how you had to play some of the levels again, but I think it's necessary that they did a good enough job varying the gameplay to make it a more complete experience. Did Big the Cat need to be in there? No, I've already addressed this. But this Super Sonic End story was definitely, you know, well worth the wait for the build-up. I do wish the actual fight was a little longer, and much like the classic games, I wish you could play as Super Sonic in the main game, but you can't. Literally, the only way you can do it is through this. And you can't even do the perfect chaos fight on its own. You have to play through the little cutscenes to get to it. So basically, you have to waste like half an hour to play a five-minute battle with that. Yeah, I, God, I had no problem defeating perfect chaos this time. Like I think I defeated them in like three minutes, but didn't even get to hear the whole song. But now, open your heart to one of my favorite songs. Sonic Adventure is one of my favorite games, and this Christmas has already been one of my favorite Christmases. So Christmas 2019 is officially here very soon. I hope you've enjoyed this playthrough. I hope that, you know, you will open your heart this Christmas season. Thank you again for tuning into Bye Productions and watching this gameplay of Sonic Adventure. Happy endings all around. Merry Christmas, everybody. Open your heart. We'll see you later.